Hey, what's going on, Freedom Earth? Um, I had to, I want to share something with you that I really think is something to be understood. Being a good man means nothing without discipline. That means that when I when I got selected by the divine source and universe to buy through my parents to leave my parents' house without money, without without comfort, without any of that. And I was a good dude. To my point, let me let me give you a double edged sword. When I left, my 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 uh my client and my Aquarius client told me, "Why is this happening to you? Why are they giving you the option to leave to you? You're a good guy. You're not one of these these young men out here who drinking, doing drugs. You're not." You're not all over the place. You're disciplined. You're pretty disciplined. You're not. You're not all over the place. You do the same thing, and you're building your. You're building your business. And at that time, even when I was homeless, I used to get so angry because I thought it was about being a good dude. It had nothing to do with being a good dude. You feel what I'm saying? It had nothing to do with being a good dude. You know, um, it was the fact that I didn't have the financial discipline or the discipline in my business to scale it to be self-sufficient. It had nothing to do with being a good guy. You know what I'm saying? And that left me to, to a great extent. And that tr- some, something that was triggered when I, when a young lady said, that's what she, like, she's like, uh, it was blaming women with, uh, with the understanding that they're stupid for building with men with nothing. I said, that's not true. You need to be with a man. That's what I, the key phrase that I said. You need to be with a man who's growing with or without you. It's just better with you there. And that isn't the, that, and a lot of women get it fucked up. That, that means if he's grow if he's growing with, the, if he's growing, if that means that if he's not growing without you, he's a good dude. That's based on character. That means he's not evil. That means he's he's pretty. He's pretty. He, he'll take care of you. You know what I'm saying? Disci- discipline doesn't care if you're good or not. That's the thing. Discipline doesn't care if you're a good person or a bad person. Good just means that you get a sparkling eye from the universe. But if you're disciplined financially, you'll just be rich and kind of unhappy. You know? Um... I'm learning. Being a good guy does make you prevail, but at the same time, it doesn't. Here's an example. When I was when I was homeless, I was with a young man who was a good guy. We he stole food for me. He would get food for me. We would he would give me a place to stay so I don't have to sleep on the street, like the McDonald's we were sleeping in, etc., etc. He was a good guy. He was just such a turn off for me because he didn't have no discipline. It wasn't that I he was less than me. It was not that he was a bad dude. None of that. It's that every time he spoke about his path in life, his career, he was always telling me some shit about he's on another path. And it was such a turn off for me. And I couldn't fuck with it. So when, he, when because of his undisciplined mind and his undisciplined heart, his undisciplined behaviors, Whenever, whenever he would talk to me, he would spill negativity. Like he would tell me, "You're gonna be here for years and years and years because you know because of whatever the excuse was." And I realized it's not because he's a bad dude that he said that. It's because he got no discipline. So he he was there for four years, and the only reason like, he was in that situation for four years, and I was there for eleven months, a month of faith, psychics, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, is because. He had, I had more discipline than he had. 
So when I found somebody who said, yo, I'm going to Georgia, and I, I'll, you know, you have, you got money in place. One of the reasons that that came into my life, that was attracted into my life, was because she, I have discipline. When she met me, she sees my discipline, not because I was a good or a bad dude. He attracted those situations because he's a good dude. Situations like that, he never took them and 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 took advantage of them because he didn't have no discipline. It don't matter if you're a good or bad dude. The market don't care if you're good or bad. Your parents don't care if you're good or bad. Your girlfriend, your boyfriend don't care if you're a good guy. They, at its core, they only care if you share the same disciplines as them. So, I'm here to remind you, it means nothing if you're a good dude. If you don't have no discipline, it means nothing. 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 It just means that you'll get a taste of luck along the pathway of life. Get some, be a good, be a great disciplined man. Don't just be good. Because when I was at my parents' house, I was a good guy. When I left my parents' house, I became great. You know what I'm saying? I started my pathway to being great. You know, and then as I become greater and greater every day, it had nothing to do with I was a bad guy. I think they, I think they went about it the wrong way. I think they went about the lesson the wrong way, but it had nothing to do with the fact that I was a good guy. Nothing. Believe me. Believe me when I tell you it had nothing to do with the fact that I was a good guy. Nothing. And. You know, as I pay my bills, I grow my business, it has not, as I finally start to become self-sufficient, it has nothing to do with the fact that I'm a good guy. That's just icing on the cake. What created the cake is discipline. 